first started out in show business, I was with a comedy team. Tim Reed and I were America's first black and white comedy team. History shows we were the last. You know, we wrote a book a couple years ago. It's going to be coming a movie now about what it was like from 1969 to 1975 touring the nation. There were no comedy clubs here. This sounds like a documentary about me, so I'm going to get off of that. But my point is, the first time that I um, that I uh, saw Dick Viandi, Tim and I had only been in the business about four weeks. And we got booked in a little club on the south side of Chicago, and they said the master of ceremonies is Dick Biondi. I went, wow, this is going to be exciting to meet Dick Biondi, you know. And uh, he introduced us, and Tim and I went out. We, all we had was 20 minutes of material. And one of the routines we would do was where I interviewed the first black president of the United States. Now, you got to go, this is back in 1969, 1970, you know. And uh, so, anyhow, we were, you know, Tim and I went, went, uh, did that routine. And we went back to our dressing room. There was a second show, and we were all excited, and because it went well. And Dick came back and said, "You know, he's talking to us." And and he said uh, something about he came back later, and it was about 20 minutes before showtime for the second show. And I said, "How do you think the crowd will be?" He said, "Well, they were a good first show, weren't they?" And I said, "Well, yeah, but you never know what second show." He said, "The same people." I said, "Whoa, whoa, wait, wait." The same people? Dick said, "Yeah, it's the same people. They're all here." I said, "We don't have any more. We did 20 minutes. That's all we had." Well, you know, he said, they, they liked it last time, maybe they'll like it again. Well, they were shouting our punchlines out. I would ask Tim a question as, as interviewing the first black person in the United States, and the audience would shout out the, the answer, you know. It was a nightmare. It was, by the end of the 20 minutes, Tim and I were sopping wet with sweat, you know. You know, what they, what they call bomb sweat, you know. Yeah. But, but Dick was gracious and, and complimentary and, and you know, uh, I wanted to do so well because I listened to him on the radio and I wanted, and I liked him, so you want him to like you, you know. Yeah. So uh, did he ever give you any advice? I think it was get out of show business. I think Dick said that early in my career.